And if her Facebook is asking a very basic question, is there any hope? Is there everything that's going on? Absolutely. Is there hope? There is always hope. If you are breathing, there is hope. You've heard this, right? A human being can live only 40 days without food, seven days without water, three minutes without air, but not a second without hope. So if you're breathing, there's hope somewhere. And I, you know, I, oh, there are a lot, yeah, you know, more than ever, I think people have to be tempted by by the doom and gloom right to say oh shit they're overrunning police departments now and whether you think it's good or bad like oh shit it's the end times the virus is here whether whether you like government or you like anti-government they're fighting and a lot of people are getting hurt in the middle so uh you know it's tempting to think things are hopeless whether whether like, whether you're pro-government neutral on it or anti-government shit's getting hot and it's really tempting to think that we might be coming to some point of collapse some you know very dangerous like i but i know i don't like none of these things are a real that first of all to whatever extent there's a real threat, look how easy it is to protect yourself. I mean, really, it, one, there's a threat of the virus. Okay, if you were like, if you isolate yourself, like to take precautions, like it's not hard. You know, and if, if you live, if you, if you live in a city where there's rioting and you're actually concerned that like cops or, I mean, really, if you're in a city where there's rioting, which which are you more, you should still be more concerned about cops than rioters we've seen santa monica there are businesses where they are defending their shops with guns and you know but you know more more power to them they're not wearing masks <laughs> surprise surprise um so in, unless you're you know like a, a pro-police business or you're very visible and targeted you know, I don't really have anything to worry about. Like I said, they're not raiding underground <laughs> hair salons. They're raiding white market businesses, red market, right? The violent market businesses. So if you are in one of these areas in terms of, you know, avoiding con you know, contact with other people, it is really scary to say, yeah, you got to avoid contact with police, especially right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, but here's the bigger picture, and I want to really encourage everybody to ch to take this as the opportunity to change their lifestyle. Because it's one thing you go, "Hey guys, the virus is here, and it's going to be here for a while, and you should probably, you know, have some have some food supplies at home, have some bottled water, have some emergency rations, have some water filter stuff around you know have a have a bug out plan just in case and then the riots came from george floyd and you go oh now there's a, is, are we going to get a break from this or is it going to keep getting worse well the point i'm making here is that you can actually go to the next level of preparation like we are here at the garden of freedom in gardenia and say we don't have to worry about any of this shit. i live down three miles of private dirt road I'm totally off grid. If I had to survive without contact with anybody outside of this property, I'd be fine. And, and by the way, right now we have a great little community here. We have about a dozen people living out here. And it's, it's not hard to, to get that for yourself one way or another. Go rural. Get out of the city. You want hope? Embrace it. Take it. Claim it for yourself. This is what it looks like. It's 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 not. I mean, the fires are campfires, not buildings burning down. The, the dramatic moments are are hugs and kisses, not riots and raids. Like that's that's the difference. You want hope, take it. And in the short term sense, 
yeah, protect yourself. In the midterm sense, develop a better lifestyle so that you can live with that security and, and, and really not lose hope with these temporary upheavals. And in the long run, remain absolutely confident in the message of freedom. Because that's it, right there. A voluntary society is inevitable. This is the course of human progress. And I've always said there's the caveat of, yes, a meteor could crash into the earth first, right? Or, you know, some plague. But none of these things, no, are, 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 are on the scale of extinction level events, the coronavirus and the George Floyd riots don't even register. So have hope. There's plenty to go around.